Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today let's discuss about inventions eligible for patent. What are the different inventions which are eligible for patent? That's what we will see. So patents may be granted for invention that we already know or maybe the technologies in any field. Okay. So it can start from a normal uh, straw. You remember I have told in the beginning of the classes of this module. The straw what we drink in a normal juice. It used to come a straight one. Okay, so and later, and somebody noticed that uh, we have to bend it for drinking it, or maybe upside down or from bottom to top, top, top to bottom in both the ways, both the cases. We have to bend. So, that bend is being introduced in that particular straw. Do you think any scientific you know advancement is there in this? No, but what is being done here you don't have to be a scientist to think like this understanding so the patent can be given to anything it can be it should be new and it should have use case that is the only requirement okay so paper it can be a paper here you know, uh, that particular patent can be can vary from the very smallest things or very uh, we, can, we can say the common things like paper clip or ball, uh, ballpoint pen Okay, from the highly advanced technologies to the nanotechnologies to chip or hardware MOS, MOS with a cancer genes. Okay, these all can be patented, only make sure that it should be something new. Now, it is general belief that the patents are awarded only to the major scientific breakthrough, but it is not true. Okay, only if something happens like a scientific breakthrough, all those things, only those people who get the Nobel Prize. Uh, they only get patent nothing like that okay so in fact the majority of the patents are granted to inventions displaying any uh, an improvement over the existing inventions so most of them if you see the patents most of uh, around 60 to 75 percent of the patents are given to the already existing knowledge already existing products but they improvise something some center set uh, technology technological advancement was was being done okay and for that the patent was being given so for example many patents can be awarded to a single molecule that is everybody knows that the penicillin it was the first antibiotic which was discovered right but later after that uh, we know that the first uh, generation second generation third generation fourth generation of penicillins have come right so how they come because there was an improvement in this penicillin okay we know that penicillin is nothing but it's an antibiotic that kills the microbes or bacteria, fungus, all these things, and its derivatives. Now, the derivatives are made up of what? The penicillin derivatives are made up of what? They are making subtle change. That means a small change they will make or make sure that that change is bringing significant impact in the result, okay, in the structure of the penicillin. So, resulting in new or improved properties. Once you find a new property, you can go for the patenting, such as acid state. What are the properties? Acid stability that means it can stable it can be stable at a higher acidic level so that killing all the microbes which are who are acid resistant and next temperature stability the microbes some of the microbes will stay for more than 30 40 50 degree and all okay those kind of so penicillin has to be stable at that point so you change the structure of the penicillin you get the new property which can be which can have the temperature stability then or a killing a wide range of the organisms okay you can also make make changes so that it will kill more number of microbes next a new antibiotic molecule uh, will be there they, they, as because you have changed their structure it will be called a second generation third generation fourth generation of penicillins that also can be patented so in our daily life we know that we use many patented items we know we have our toothpaste uh, i mean toothbrush toothpaste shoes are there pen eyeglasses textiles mobile phones wristwatch bicycle scooter car television cold drinks beverages and many more these all are what patented ones so if any improvements you bring in all these things that also can be patented it is not uncommon that many products contain several inventions for example, our laptop or your, you take example of your phone, it has got a camera, it has got a chips, it has got bionic chips, it has got many, many things in it. All these, uh, now I can't say that my phone is patented, I can say that a particular, this phone has got around 
100 components or 10 components or maybe 5 components which are patented understanding so several inventions will contain uh, it can be used to make one product okay that is example laptop or com laptop computer uh, involves hundreds of inventions working together similarly the cars okay in cars many sensors are there in cars usually more than 40 percent of the cost of the car will be go going for the sensor development only so next mobile phones next televisions they have many patented components okay so that's it next we are having non-patentable matters that we will discuss in the next class